So this is Kyle Dunn Devine's guy. This is that weird town for sure. I can tell by the stadium. Played in there before. Got a couple on sportsman likes. And a running back named Penapinto. He's pretty good. Anyway, freaking lefty. Check. Wow, this kid's looking good. That's a I, the Jordan Geist is doing this. This must be the new thing now because Jordan's doing it. Everybody's doing it. I don't. It just looks uncomfortable to me. Dude, watch Reese Hoffa start in the back and Cantwell, but particularly Hoffa. He's so fucking comfortable out of the back of the circle. He's real loose. Pickup's good. Very good contact there. Now, he's got to get that right heel down sooner. He, he can't, you see how his left, or his right toe is pointing down? He's almost got to get that heel down more. So it's like a little more glute activation there from his right side and get it down quicker because it gets, he buckets it a little bit. And then see how he's already lifting. His weight's not transferring into the right leg. He's already lifting up. So he's falling back on his finish, falling back like, well, his right's falling back this way and he's lunging at it in the finish. That shot's still in his hand. And his feet are off the ground, so he's not accelerating the shot here. If he was grounded, he'd be able to, but right now he is not able to apply any extra force that than what was already previously applied to the shot. So, <clears throat> I really like, you know, the only thing I'd say here with the right, or with his left, gosh, let's, if I draw a line in the middle here, He might be a little deep. So, Kyle, this is where you might be able to fix him. Get his right, his, God, his left down a hair sooner, like right around there. It'd almost be on the a little more on the left side of the of the circle. And then get that right heel down quicker. So get that right heel down, right here. He's got to start pushing it, the right heel down. And then he's got to rotate that shoulder, rotate that left shoulder past his left side, deep. He can't get all, he's got to stay on that. See, his heel's never even down, so no weight is transferring forward. His right, he's got to stay down here. And then he can work that long left side. And he won't foul it. See how all of his weight's going, look at the way he, Here's a really quick way. I should tell you guys this. This is a nice cheat. It's a way to to really help you analyze technique is that when a kid reverses, he should be reversing. If he's reversing properly, he's going to reverse to where his right, in this particular case, his right foot is. And he can come back around. That's a proper finish. You can tell he's finishing well. Here, he releases, okay, So it's all going this way in line. Now watch where he, when he reverses, he doesn't fall out this way. He falls out that way because oh, that's the way he's falling back. See how his left's coming that way? Everything is going to, to this way. He should be reversing and then his right leg would come around onto the concrete over here. So he's got to get that left down on this side. His speed of it is good. Very good. He's good out of the back. So get that left down sooner. And then be patient. Get a right heel down and turn into that right more. Turn into the right side more. Dude, I bet you this kid can freaking launch. Like He's got really good speed. So That back. Yeah, dude. 
You just get that right there, that left down center, and a right heel grounded, and this kid is going to toss. Make him do non reverses and some no feet throws, so he has to finish around. <laughs> 